Ever had a hunch, like singing to your plants helps them grow? How do you know if it's true? You use science and at the heart of science is hypothesis testing. It's a detective's tool. You start with an idea, gather evidence, and see if it stands up to scrutiny. Hypothesis testing isn't just for scientists. It's a way to make smarter decisions in everyday life. The process is simple. Make a claim, collect data, and judge if the evidence supports it. Instead of trying to prove yourself right, you assume your idea is wrong and look for strong evidence to change your mind. It's like a courtroom. The new idea is innocent until proven guilty by the data. This approach keeps us honest and helps us separate fact from fiction. Hypothesis testing gives you the tools to question bold claims and make informed choices. It's science in action, empowering you to think critically about the world. To test an idea, you need two rivals, the null hypothesis, H0, and the alternative hypothesis, H1. The null hypothesis is the nothing's changed position, no effect, no difference. For a new headache medicine, HEO says it works no better than a sugar pill. The alternative hypothesis is the exciting claim. The medicine does have an effect. Your experiment's goal? Gather enough evidence to reject the null in favor of the alternative. For example, if a company tests a new website design, HO says it doesn't change how long people stay, H1 says it does. These hypotheses are mutually exclusive, only one can be true. The null acts as a safety net, forcing us to demand strong evidence before making bold claims. We don't just say, it looks better. We use data to show the result is unlikely due to chance. This structured opposition drives scientific discovery. It's the engine behind every good experiment. How do we decide if our evidence is strong enough? Enter the significance level, alpha, and the p-value. Alpha is the risk we're willing to take of being wrong, often set at 0.05 comma or 5%. After collecting data, we calculate the p-value, the probability of seeing our results if the null hypothesis is true. A small p-value means our results are surprising under the null. If the p-value is less than or equal to alpha, we call the results statistically significant and reject the null. If it's larger, we don't have enough evidence to reject the null. It's like a court verdict. Not enough proof means we don't convict, but we don't declare innocence either. For example, if our headache medicine yields a p-value of 0.03, below 0.05, we have evidence it works. If the p-value is 0.25 comma, we can't claim it's effective. P-values and significance levels give us a clear objective rule for making decisions. Hypothesis testing isn't foolproof. Mistakes happen. A type 1 error is a false alarm, rejecting the null when it's actually true. For our medicine, that means claiming it works when it doesn't, costly and potentially harmful. We control this risk with alpha. A lower alpha means fewer false positives. A type 2 error is a missed opportunity, failing to reject the null when the alternative is true. Here, we might dismiss a medicine that actually helps. The chance of a type 2 error is called beta, influenced by sample size and effect size. There's a trade-off lowering alpha to avoid false alarms can increase missed opportunities. Scientists must balance these risks when designing experiments. It's all about weighing the consequences and making informed choices. Hypothesis testing is everywhere, in medicine, manufacturing, and business. In clinical trials, researchers compare new treatments to placebos, using p-values to decide if a drug is effective. In factories, random samples test if products meet quality standards. A low p-value signals a problem. Businesses use A-B testing to compare ads or website designs, letting data, not guesswork, guide decisions. The null hypothesis always assumes no difference. The alternative hopes for improvement. By tracking results and applying hypothesis tests, companies make smarter investments and avoid costly mistakes. Whether it's a new ad campaign or a product tweak, hypothesis testing replaces, I think, with the data shows. It's the backbone of evidence-based decisions. This method leads to better products, safer medicines, and more effective strategies. Hypothesis testing turns ideas into actionable results. Hypothesis testing shapes more than just business and medicine. It's vital in society and science. Social scientists use it to test if programs like after-school tutoring actually improve student outcomes. In finance, analysts test if certain stocks outperform others, guiding smarter investments. 
environmental scientists use it to link pollution to declining fish populations, supporting new regulations. The process is the same setup null and alternative hypotheses, collect data, and analyze results. This method helps policymakers, investors, and scientists make decisions based on evidence, not guesswork. It's a universal language for testing ideas, challenging assumptions, and building knowledge. From education to the environment, hypothesis testing drives progress. It helps us separate real solutions from wishful thinking. It's how we make better choices for our communities and our planet. Hypothesis testing isn't just for scientists. It's a mindset for everyone. It's about curiosity, humility, and demanding evidence before believing a claim. In a world full of bold statements and information overload, this approach helps you cut through the noise. When you hear about a miracle cure or a new trend, you can ask, what was tested? Was the evidence strong? This critical thinking is a superpower in daily life. Hypothesis testing shapes the safe medicines you take, the products you use, and the policies that protect you. It's the engine of progress, helping us learn what works and what doesn't. It encourages us to test our own ideas, from baking cookies to studying for exams. The goal isn't to always be right, but to find out what's true. So next time you have a hunch, think like a scientist, formulate, test, and discover. That's the power of hypothesis testing. Consider it.